Hello everyone, welcome to example of physics where we study concepts by solving questions. In this video, we are going to learn about the rules for writing units and its symbols in SI. Previously, I have made several videos on very fundamental topics of physics like what is physics, what is its importance, what are physical quantities, how many types of physical quantities are there, what are fundamental derived and supplementary physical quantities and also lately I have made a video on multiples and submultiples along with the prefix and how to convert from one multiple to the another. This video is the next part of it. If you are new to this channel and haven't seen the previous videos, not a problem. I will link the playlist to the end screen. You can watch them after completion of this video. So let's go into the video. So let us discuss about the rules. The first rule, it says full names of units, even if they are named after scientists, should not be written with initial capital letters. So what does that mean? It means that, for example, let us say a boy, let's say his name is Santosh. So Santosh eight. Mm, let's say five kilograms of. You can write any favorite sweet you like. Any of your favorite sweet. Let's say jalebi. Okay, Santosh eight five kilograms of jalebis. So here. 5 kilogram is the number plus unit right and you are writing the unit completely so whenever you are writing the com unit completely the first letter should not be kilo should not be capital so if I write it like this then this is wrong and if I write it like this as I have written the sentence then that is right even if we are having the name of scientist for say um, let's say newton is a famous scientist right so newton newton so what is the difference between these two newtons are they same no so when i use this newton in a sentence this represents unit of force and if I write this Newton, this Newton represents with capital N, it represents the scientist Sir Isaac Newton himself. So if I write 5 Newtons, so this, if, if I write it like this, this is wrong. I should write 5 Newton. So the first letter should always be small even if it is derived from the name of a scientist derived means if it is named after the some scientist more examples say 5 what is it right or wrong w small letter right say 5 joules so joule is the name of the scientist so i am writing 5 joules this is wrong. It means I am talking about five persons whose name is same Joule. So five Joules. So it is completely absurd. This is wrong. What should I write? Five and small letter Joule. I hope you have understood. So let's go to the next rule. The next rule is obviously rule number two. And it says symbol of units named after a scientist should have capital letter so some symbols are derived from what are named after some scientist in order to give them respect for example say frequency the unit for frequency is hertz so when i write this symbol hertz is name of a scientist see i have written h small letter so the it is derived from a sign name of a scientist hence 
H Z H must be capital. So our favorite example Newton. So Newton is unit for for what? It is unit for force. And when I write the symbol of SI unit, I will write it as capital N. Other examples as previously discussed for energy unit is joule symbol since it's the name of the scientist capital J next last example power power SI unit for power is watt and it is named after a scientist James Watt so symbol should be capital W so you have understood it right whenever you're writing symbols and if the units are derived from the name of the scientist then their symbols must always be capital that's what it says so suppose what is the range of human what is the audible range of normal human ear 20 hertz to 20 kilo hertz see that so i am writing how i am writing h capital because name of the scientist this k is small because it is kilo and its symbol is small k suppose uh, let's say the force is 500 newton so how will i write 500 capital n suppose the energy is what shall we write 500 joules so see there suppose the power is 746 watts what is the 746 watts if you know comment it so 746 watts now see that symbol again i am writing it right so this is your rule number two let's go to rule number three punctuation marks should not be used after the symbol of unit so very important again it is talking about what it is talking about symbol and what should we not use punctuation marks so what are punctuation marks like full stop or comma or apostrophe or colon semicolon etc etc quotes single quote double quote whatever be that so these should not be used with the symbols of the units suppose for example 5 kilometers okay 5 kilometer is there so 5 kilometer how will you write it as in symbols 5 kilometer and after that do not put any dot if you put any dot then that is wrong what how to write correctly km remember k is small letter next example i have seen this many times suppose someone's height is 170 centimeters so 170 centimeters some people some people write like this 170 cms or 170 c dot m dot s so here writing s is itself wrong and why it is wrong we'll discuss in the next rule but writing the punctuations like this or some people will write like this centimeters so these all are wrong things so no punctuation should be should be written when you are writing symbols keep that in mind so that was your rule number three rule number four symbols of units do not have plural form so this is we always study in english what is that singular when the quantity of something is one and if it is more than one plural and generally the conversion is very simple say this is cat so if i have one cat i say cat and it becomes 
plural becomes cats dog dog becomes dogs kilometer becomes kilometers right as in as if in kilometers and kilometers and if you write that that is a wrong okay symbols will not have plural you have to just write what kilometer if a machine is applying 5000 newtons of force then if you write it in a symbol form you should only write 5000 and the symbol no need to write s there if you write s s is the symbol for second it becomes ns becomes newton second KMS becomes kilometer per second. That's different unit, different derived unit. So that leads to more complications. So don't write it. So we have to follow these rules. These rules will be followed by everyone. Hence, understanding becomes easy when two or more people of different places are leading, dealing with one another. So I hope you have understood the rules, how to write them. Now let's go to the questions now. Question number one, the SI unit of amount of substance is, so what is the SI unit of amount of substance? SI unit of amount of substance is mole. Okay, now what are they asking? They are just asking SI unit, right? Not symbol. What is the symbol of mole? Symbol of mole is MOL. So symbol I have written in bracket. Now let's check the options. So option A, they are using they are asking what si unit not its symbol so this is not right even though m should be small because mole is not the name of any scientist b option mole mole that is correct and m is also small letter c option c option says what c option says m what do you mean by m m means meter m means meter unit of distance so this is not correct last mole this is not correct because m is capital over there m should always be small so the correct answer is mole so let's go to the next question the next question is and before that look at this picture this is the picture of andre marie ampere and why we are discussing that you will understand so six amperes can be represented as so six amperes so what is six amperes so how to represent in the symbol so six you will write six ampere what is ampere is name of a scientist so the letter should be capital and its symbol is just a so which is that that one is the d option so the correct answer for this is six amperes can be written as six a easy very easy i hope next question question three is assertion and reason type i'll read it assertion says five kilometers can be written as five kilometer five km right so five kilometers can be written as see that five you will write kilometers what is plural when you are writing symbol there will not be any plural so five kilometers so this assertion is true so next reason the symbol of unit should not be written in plural form that is right and it explains the assertion very well so now see the four options four options are both a and r are true and r is correct explanation of a both a and r are true but r is not correct explanation of a c or a is correct but r is incorrect d a is incorrect r is correct so four options are there so, so which one is the correct one the correct one is a so those are the questions and uh, now next question is for the viewers the question is statement a the si unit of force is newton statement b the first letter of scientist name should not be written in capital letters when it is represented as a unit 
now four options are there both a both a and b are true option b both a and b are false option c a is true b is false option d a is false b is true so think about it write your answer in the comment section and i hope you have enjoyed watching this video you have learned something and if you have done so please like the video and share it with your friends and family members and do subscribe to the channel bye bye